Hi, my name is Katie Conold and I'm the Education Coordinator at the Tread of Pioneers Museum. Thanks for finding us and this video on our YouTube page. Please have your parents like us on Facebook, Tread of Pioneers Museum, to be notified of all of these fun activities that we have going online. Today, you are joining us for a simple pioneer craft. We are going to be talking about and building cabins, log cabins. So why would we do that? Well, our town was settled and founded by a family uh, named the Crawfords. And they came here in the mid 1870s to Steamboat Springs. There was no one else here except for the Native Americans, the Yampatika tribe of the Utes. And the Yampatika tribe of the Utes were only here in the summers. Uh, and they lived in wiki-ups, which is kind of like a teepee made of sticks. And the Crawfords knew that they couldn't ever survive in a wiki-up here in the winter, so they had to make something sturdier. So like any pioneer, they looked around and they used what they had because there were no stores. Denver was a two-week trip. They couldn't haul back materials for a house. So they chopped down some trees with their limited tools, which was probably an ax and a saw and they built themselves a cabin. Um, so pioneers made themselves two different kinds of cabins, more or less. Um, again, just using the materials that they were that were around them. Trees, if they had them, if not, they would make sod cabins, basically out of dirt. <laughs> um, they, and those were called soddies. And so that was really popular for pioneers that were on the plains and the prairies where there were no trees. Um, they So they all used what they had. So today you can do the same thing. You can use what you have in your house or in your yard to make a log cabin. Okay, so if you want to build a cabin like the Crawfords, um, be a pioneer, think about what you have at home. So. There's two different kinds of cabins. First of all, there's a log cabin or there's a sod cabin. They called those soddies. And um, like I said earlier about the roof, um, they would just make sod cabins out of dirt and grass. Um, so you could use clay, you could use Play-Doh and try to construct a sod cabin. And you can just use popsicle sticks or probably even pretzels to help you frame in uh, the clay. So play around with that. I'm going to show you an edible log cabin. However, yours doesn't have to be edible. I know in our yard right now we have a ton of dead sticks because we haven't cleaned up after the winter yet. Um, and maybe you have access to some mud. So play around with it that way. You can do a natural version or an edible version up to you. I'm just using what I have in my cabinet just like the pioneers would. Um, so I just wanted to so I believe there's thin pretzels, there's thick pretzels, maybe you have um, graham crackers or crackers. I happen to have frosting. Frosting is also easy to make. Um, you could mix pretzels with regular mud. You can use a base like this. I don't know if you recognize it, but it's just a milk carton. We cut the top off and taped it together. Um, this is the bottom of the milk cut carton and you can just make some um, slits there and tape it or you can use graham crackers or you can just get a plate like this I put a foundation of frosting and you can start by building your cabin I have a thief who's eating my cabin so and I'm just using the broken pretzels that were in the bag too because the pioneers used what they had Okay, so once I have that basic frame on the foundation of frosting or mud, I'd love to see pictures if you're making log cabins, either in your kitchen or your yard, definitely share them with your teachers so I could see them. That would be so fun. So I'm putting the chinking in and again, I'm just going to use what I have. Hopefully we can make it all fit. So I'm just going to keep building that way. I think I might want to use thicker frosting in the future as I build up my cabin. And then so on and so on. You can stack it as high as you want, just like Pa did. 
that's my son Micah. Um, and then make a roof. You can make it out of the same material or you could use real grass with your parents' permission. Um, graham crackers make the base of, of a roof really nicely, especially a sod roof. And if you want to be really fancy, you could even get some coconut shavings and dye them green and sprinkle them on top to show the sod. Anyway, thank you for watching and remember to like the Tread of Pioneers Museum on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see lots more fun pioneer activities like this one.